What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, so I've been meaning to do this video for a long time now um, and the topic is on drive-through car washes. Um, is there value in a cheap drive-through car wash? Um, do these cars, car washes damage your vehicle? Uh, do they damage the, the mirrors? Do they damage the paint? Um, and do they even do a really, really good job of cleaning your vehicle? So all that stuff is going to be discussed in this video. Um, hope you're into it. Let's go. All right, guys. So what we're going to do first here is we're just going to take a quick look at the exterior of the car and you can get a good look at how dirty the vehicle is. Hopefully you can see that. Hopefully it's picking up on that stuff. Sorry for the uh, the poor sound. I got a quad uh, zipping through big huge field behind me. Back there. Going around the side. There. Shout out to Char Moves. Wheel Wells. Got the hood, the bonnet, looking really, really dirty. Come down here, and this is the dirtiest bit, guys. All right, guys, so as you can see, the car is extremely dirty and it's definitely ready for a wash. Uh, we're gonna go over to my local uh, drive through sort of car wash and uh, get this bad boy done and uh, take a look at these sort of after effects. All right, let's go. All right, guys, so in the car, um, we're gonna head over to the, the car wash and, uh, and take a look at uh, what kind of effects we can have done uh, from you know, a very cheap sort of bare bones drive through car wash. We're gonna go over the sort of the pluses and the minuses of doing it um, and, uh, and see what kind of results we get. All right, let's go. So as I said before, guys, I've been doing this drive through sort of car wash as a sort of just a, a cheap way to get my car washed, you know, at the drop of a hat um, for years now, for about sort of, you know, probably three, four years. Um, you know, when I first got the vehicle, I wanted to really keep it clean and I was all about getting it detailed professionally and um, that kind of caught up with me a little bit. The cost sort of started to get a little bit expensive. It was $200, $250 every single time I wanted the car to, to be cleaned. Um, that being said, every time I, I gave the car in, it came back to me in pristine sort of order. Um, but it got to the point where I just, I didn't have 200, $300 every single time the car was, uh, every single time the car was in need of a wash. Uh, so I started resorting to these quick sort of car washes. Um, and you know, in, in my sort of, you know, experience, I always leave the car wash a little bit unhappy, you know, from my mirrors being pushed in, to you know, little pieces around the around the back splitter not being done, to the car not being completely dried. There's always these little sort of things that kind of just just frustrate me a little bit every time I, you know, every time I go to this place. Did I ever have that problem when I when I had it detailed? Never. You know, very very finite detailing when when you have it professionally done. Everything from you know you know, having it waxed, to having it completely dried, no no beads of sweat. All the little details are all taken care of, you know, in, in between the emblems, everything's all done. Um, so, you know, obviously there is more value in, you know, having your car sort of fully detailed. Um, but today we're gonna sort of just look at the, the sort of cost effective, um, you know, sort of option you know, between five and $10, um, where you can just quickly have your car done and whether there's value in, in doing it sort of at the drop of the hat and for the money that, uh, that you're saving. So surprisingly enough, um, wish you guys could see this, but 
quite a few people on the road today. I guess the stay home order is not really having a too much of an effect on people. It's a, a beautiful sunny day in, um, in Philadelphia. So much like myself, everyone feels the need to get out and you know just go for a little rip in their in their vehicle and uh sort of in, enjoy the sunlight so guys i want you to keep in mind that the car that i'm having washed today is my own personal vehicle it's a 2011 infinity g37 xs coupe um you know so bearing that in mind it's not a high-end porsche or lamborghini um vehicle uh, so obviously taking that into consideration, I mean, I, I, I think if I had a, a Porsche or a, a high-end vehicle, you know, that cost uh, quite a bit more, a substan substantial amount more, I would probably look to be, have my car professionally detailed every single time I had it washed. Um, but I mean, you know, looking at the, the value of this car um, and the, the amount of wear and tear that is already on the vehicle, um, you know, those are the factors that I'm sort of looking at when I, you know, look to get my car washed, you know, at these at these drive-through um, sort of washes. Another thing to sort of focus on, another thing to sort of, you know, be conscientious of is this car has aftermarket N-key black rims, um, which was a, a modification I did about two years ago to the car. Um, and the lip of them stands out just a little bit. So jumping on to the little tracks that you have to sort of center um, when going to this this car wash is also a huge huge issue and something that we're going to take a look at when we uh, when we come out of the wash just to make sure that there's no scratching or anything like that because you always have to it's like a, a big job to sort of line up the the tires get it on you can always hear that little as, it, as you uh, as you sort of line it up and it's it's always a really sort of frustrating thing that's probably one of the the most frustrating sort of annoyances i would have if i had a high-end vehicle um, and taking it in there it's not a non-touch car wash so there's tons of little you know sort of washing hands whacking your your car and you know little little sort of washer spinning and touching your car uh, so you know, naturally there's gonna be a lot of sort of dirt and sand buildup. Um, and I think that's also um, definitely gonna have a, an effect on the, the the quality of your paint going forward as well. So um, also something to consider in the, the finished product. If you have a club car coupon, I'm gonna go with an express car wash. Just the bare bones. Bang. So there you go. There's the receipt. Five dollar car wash. Alright, here we are. Time to line it up. Alright, here we go. Let's see how quickly we can get this. A little over. Oh, there's that sound. All right, and we're in. That wasn't so bad. Okay guys, so here we are. Here are the after effects of the $5 car wash. Okay, so on first glance, we see that my mirrors were pushed back and obviously you guys are gonna comment in the, the comment section that, you know, having an electric mirrors, you know, you would just push one button and pull them in. Um, I guess that's kind of just my bad. I've, I don't have electric mirrors and I always forget to pull them in and this is kind of always the result. So, I mean, it's not the end of the world, just kind of remembering. To sort of push them in boom just like that uh, but it always does pull out uh, or sort of push them back if I if I don't remember uh, so just getting into the paintwork a little bit here um, I mean looking at the the overall car uh, car I don't think the it did much of a, of a bad job it's it's pretty decent um, if we want to get really sort of intricate um, you can definitely see here you know I think where it, where it generally misses is the smaller sort of lower trim parts 
right? You can see down here, you know, there's still lots and lots of black, you know, almost like the, the, the stuck on sort of dirt that's been on there a little bit sort of longer. That's sort of harder to get off. I could probably get this off just with my finger, right? Um, but generally speaking, it does a pretty decent job. If you look at this sort of, look at that, right? Any little area that sort of needs that fine tooth comb that, you know, that you're gonna get when, when detailing your vehicle, right? See that in between the, in between the infinity uh, logos, right? Um, sort of behind the wheel well here, really, really dirty. Um, but just looking at the car from a glance, I mean, it looks clean. It looks fine, right? For $5, if you just need a quick sort of wash, you know, so that at first glance is presentable, great. If you're the type of guy who, who you know, <laughs> who I, I want to be like, but don't really have the money for, want your car spick and span, cleaned every little bit down to that, that thing shined up beautifully, all this stuff gone, then I think the $5 car wash is not for you. Look at all these bugs, tons and tons of bugs. Obviously some of them are chips as well. I probably need to get a new splitter there, um, but it just didn't get, it didn't do a great job. It didn't do a great job. Um, so yeah, that's kind of, you know, that's kind of an idea guys of what you get for a $5 car wash. Um, again, at the end of the day, you know, we're talking $5, you know, it's, it's done in 10 minutes. You don't have to get out of your car and you know, the car is reasonably clean. Um, if you really, really want your car to be absolutely clean to the to the finute sort of finest little detail uh, stay tuned to my next video because i'm gonna absolutely completely detail the car uh, myself from the rims to the undercarriage to the the trim to the interior i'm gonna completely do it all by myself so guys that kind of gives you an idea as to what you get for you know for a five dollar car wash um you know, there is value to it, but at the end of the day, I don't recommend it. I think, you know, if you're driving a decently, decently valuable sports car, I always recommend one, either having it professionally detailed or even better if you're a car guy like myself, um, just do it yourself. It's so enjoyable on a nice sunny day, just getting out there and, um, and you know, and just babying your car. Um, and in my next video, stay tuned to my next video, I'm gonna do a complete, um, detailing of my vehicle uh, we've got a few days of um, sort of sunlight coming up um, and uh, what better time to do it so thanks guys for watching um, if you found this video uh, this video sort of you know helpful uh, definitely smash the like button and uh, subscribe and follow along got a lot of a lot of other content coming uh, I know we're sort of quarantined right now so we're kind of in lockdown but uh, been been making a few phone calls, been networking quite a bit, and I got a lot of lot of exciting content to come uh, as soon as we're able to sort of uh, get out of the house and uh, and start um, sort of what's what's the opposite of social distancing, social closenessing with people. Um, I've got some lots lots of cool stuff in store coming up, so stay tuned. Okay, talk to you soon. Bye.